Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to do things a little bit differently in this video. So, normally I would at least have some kind of makeup on, but today I kind of said F it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I worked today and considering it's like January 10th, it was definitely time to finish taking down the rest of my outdoor Christmas decorations. That was a project all its own and uh, I'm on that very busy schedule right now. So, I thought I would just be really real with you guys. I am not going to put any makeup on. And uh, yes, my hair is still wet from my shower. And where'd my cup go? <laughs> We're going to have a little mom juice. And no, I do not have any wine cups. I probably should invest in some. That would be nice, but uh, uh, not tonight. Yeah, yeah. we're just going to do a good old fashioned buy it or pass it. Hmm. Mm hmm. It really is good. Okay. So I clocked a couple things on Trim Mood. Um, this is where I get all my information from. She always has like the hot new releases posted on her Instagram. And I follow her and I usually mark uh, things that I would want to talk about. Um, Samantha March has a huge playlist though with a lot of different creators. Um, so while that will be list look that that. <laughs> Mama Juice is already kicking in. No, I'm just kidding. Um, that playlist will be listed down below. So with that being said, one of the first items I want to talk about uh, is actually from Too Faced. Uh, this is their Pinker Times Ahead collection. Uh, it has an eyeshadow palette. It has blushes. Um, there is a highlighter, better than sex mascara. And this I'm starting to wonder if these are going to take place of the Love Flush blushes. Um, I don't know if you guys remember them or not. This is what they look like right here. Um, I actually have two of them and I love, 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 love these blushes. Um, they are really easy to work with. The colors were beautiful, very like spring and summertime colors. Um, and at one point I do remember, sorry for the noise. Um, I do remember Trim Mood saying that they were supposed to come back, but they never did because I always kept an eye out and I never saw them come back. So that was a little upsetting, but I am wondering if these are going to take the place because these are kind of like similar shades uh, to what I remember the Love Flush blushes being. So I'm interested in testing one out. Um, the different shades are Watermelon Rain, Tequila Sunrise, Velvet Crush, Golden Hour, Head in the Clouds, and Candy Clouds. And I'm more like a neutral, like peachy blushes, or maybe a nice, not pink shade, but like uh, nude pink, if that makes any sense. But I would definitely test one of these out, and I want to compare it to my Love Flush blush. I think that would be really interesting. So I'm probably going to snag one of these and see how I feel about that. Just saying. Everything else in the collection, um, I'm not here for it, so those are definitely going to be a pass for me. Okay, so let's talk about some perfumes. Well, not perfumes, a perfume. <laughs> for some reason, I have become obsessed with perfumes. Um, I actually have like four or five different nice perfumes. I, I like it. I like being able to um, spray myself and feel confident and pretty and just, I don't know. I, I, I love the way that it makes me feel just like I do with makeup. So we, me and my daughter, uh, went into, what was it, Ulta the other day. And she loves the Marc Jacobs uh, Daisy perfume. And we were just kind of looking at that. And I noticed that Marc Jacobs came out with a new collection. It is the, um, what is it, the Daisy Paradise Edition. <sighs> it smells so good. I wanted to take it home with me immediately. We, we both loved it. Um, but they didn't have any in stock. They, all they had was literally like the biggest bottle and it was really expensive and I'm not going to do that right now, especially right after Christmas. Uh, but yeah, if they probably had the smallest bottle, I would have bought one. But if you guys like the original, like Marc Jacobs Daisy, I know that's kind of like a, a younger scent. This one is definitely more mature and it's just, oh, it smells amazing and is on my wish list. So it's heart has a new palette and I actually think that this is really cute. Uh, it is their Sweet Tart Cravings eyeshadow palette. Now I won't be picking this up because I do have like what two or three Tarte palettes and no, I have more than that. I'm sorry. 
I have like four or five Tarte palettes. And I do feel like I have the majority of the colors that they have in their collection. Um, but I really like the packaging. So inside, it actually looks like little candies. And I think that is so adorable. Uh, it's a neutral palette. So I think this is great if you are maybe a beginner and you want to kind of test out Tarte. Um, this would be cute. But as far as my collection goes, I'm definitely going to have to pass on this. But I think I think they hit it with the packaging. I think that's definitely cute. The outside could have been a little bit better. Tarte hasn't really caught my eye in a while and I'm hoping that they do soon because I actually really do uh, enjoy Tarte's eyeshadows. Okay, so e.l.f. actually came out with five camo color correctors. I think this is fantastic. e.l.f. has some really amazing products and they're really affordable which I think is fantastic. So they have some excellent makeup, they have some great skincare. Um, I mean I use their, por their poreless uh, putty primer religiously. I love this stuff. Their brushes are amazing quality for such a cheap price. So I'm really interested in trying uh, one of these color correctors. I do have, I have no makeup on, so I do have a lot of redness in here and I have discoloration here from my bike accident when I was a kid. Um, more redness over here. So I definitely want to pick one of these up. Um, they are four dollars a piece. You cannot beat that. Because I was looking at uh, correctors on Sephora website and I think they were like 20 something dollars. I'm just like, mm, no thanks. <laughs> so the yellow is supposed to camouflage dullness in fair to medium skin tones. The peach cam camouflages spots and darkness found in the under eyes in fair to medium skin tones. The orange is supposed to camouflage dark spots and darkness found under the eyes in deeper skin tones. The green covers redness, blemishes, and rosy cheeks in all skin tones. Obviously, I will be picking up a green. And the blue is supposed to visibly offset orange and yellow tones in the skin. Hmm. Okay. So, like I said, I'll definitely be picking up a green. I really want to test this out. I haven't worked with color correctors too much. Um, and maybe the one for dark spots because... It's red right here. When I was a kid, I had a bike accident. I fell first into the gravel. It was a very traumatic experience for me. And I really, I, I had so many issues with my self-confidence because this was like, this here was ruined. My lip is crooked because of it. All this darkness up here on top of my lip that makes me uncomfortable. Like, I really messed up my face in this accident. So, I would use the green on my red, and then I would use the, what was it, the peach. I think I would go here with the peach and just kind of get rid of that darkness because even though I do have some really good foundations, uh, I noticed that in this area right here, it, it does pop through. Uh, and I have dry skin, so I don't literally like to pack on tons and tons of foundation. Uh, so yeah, I will be really interested to try these out. Um, let me know down in the comments below if you guys have heard of this, if you want to try these out as well. If you have tried them out already, let me know down in the comments below and let me know what you think of them. Okay, so up next, Urban Decay has a new 24-hour multi-use hydrating full coverage concealer. Uh, this comes in how many shades? 24 shades. So this is supposed to be a multi-use, one-swipe, full coverage concealer for on-the-go that gives you a natural skin-like finish for up to 24 hours. Helps to minimize the look of dark eye circles, acne blemishes, hyperpigmentation, discoloration, and redness. A waterproof and lightweight formula with matte finish. I would be willing to try this. Maybe not right off the bat. Um, I do have my tried and trues. I use my Tarte, which I do enjoy. Um, Fenty Beauty, I actually have to restock on that one. I really like how that's hydrating underneath my eye. But I definitely would be willing to give this one a try. It does have a really nice shade range. Um, they're not just all whole bunch of light skin tones, which I think is fantastic. Um, so yeah, that might be on my list to try a little bit later. <laughs> ColourPop. Good old ColourPop. We all know that they throw things at us left and right. Um, as far as this new collection goes, I am not getting any of it. I was never into it and uh, this is just not for me. They have a new 
Winx collection, which is like the fairies or whatever. Um, of course, I'm pretty sure they have everything. They have the eyeshadow palette, the highlighters, the the glitter, the lip glosses, the whole shebang. Um, even crystal like gems and stuff. This is not for me. I feel like the packaging uh, is kind of like something I would go and get in the toy aisle for like my kid to play in. Uh, but if you're into it, I mean, no shade. Do you? For me, this is just a no-go. Um, like I said, I was never really into it, so it doesn't appeal to me personally. So all of this is going to be a huge pass. Okay, now this one I have been dying to talk about. I am so freaking curious, um, but Mario, Makeup by Mario, came out with a new foundation. And I have seen it everywhere. I have seen like mixed reviews and people love it, people hate it. I mean, that's going to be true about any foundation. Um, but I have always loved everything that I have gotten that had like Mario's name on it. Uh, the eyeshadow palette that him and Ken K did, I have that. I love it. The Makeup by Mario palette um, that he recently came out with, I have that freaking love it. Um, and I, I don't know, something is just intriguing me about this. I really, really, really want to try this foundation. I actually have it in my cart at Sephora. And I have some like, uh, not points, but um, some like Sephora cash to use. So I might be testing this one out. So uh, there are how many shades? There are 30 shades. That's a pretty decent shade range for starting out. Um, I don't know. I just... It's supposed to be a breathable, luminous foundation that effortlessly, effortlessly builds and blends to illuminate the complexion with the moisture grip technology. Hydrate skin. Uh, it's customizable, long wearing coverage, uh, 30 shades. So the most of the reviews I have seen have been like uh, brush applications. And I do have some brushes that I've used for foundations in the past. I just prefer a sponge. So I'm just really curious to see. I really want to know for myself. And like I said, I have dry skin. So something that's going to look, make my skin look healthy or radiant, I am so down for. So if I grab one of these, would you guys be interested in a review? Because I would love to do one for you guys. Uh, like I said, my skin type is dry, um, mature skin. <laughs> so I got those lines and wrinkles. And, um, yeah, I think, like I said, I'm going to, it's in my cart. I think I'm going to make the purchase in the next day or two. And, uh, just let me know down in the comments below if you guys would like a foundation review. So, because this one has got my eye so bad. All right, guys. So that's it. Thank you for joining me. Sorry about my sips in between of the mom juice. Not sorry, really, but, mm. mm hmm yeah, it was fun. <laughs> so that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope you did enjoy this video and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.